Let's return now to our top story, the acquittal of a man convicted in the murder of the Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl by Pakistan's top court. Let's go live to our correspondent Kamal Haider in Islamabad. Uh, developments taking place this morning. Talk us through the details of what Pakistan's Supreme Court has announced this morning. Well, first of all, it's important to understand that the Sindh government, uh, where the uh, case was being heard initially and where the Supreme Court of the Sindh province had first acquitted Umar Sheikh last year, had filed, the Sindh government had filed uh, a petition in the Supreme Court along with Daniel Pearl's family against that acquittal. However, the Supreme Court decided to uphold the acquittal of that particular court, which is the Sindh High Court, and that, of course, it has sent shockwaves. His their family lawyer has said that Omar Sheikh has indeed admitted in a written note that he had a minor role in the murder of the Wall Street journalist Daniel Pearl. What that role was is not certain, but the court, of, of course, upholding the acquittal, which was earlier announced by the Sindh High Court. Kamal, this was a huge story at the time with global repercussions. Give us a bit more background on how we got to this point. Well, this dates back to 2002. The uh, journalist for Wall Street Journal, the bureau chief, Daniel Pearl, was in the city of Karachi where he met uh, Omar Sheikh uh, and, of course, uh, 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 it was at that, Saeed Omar, uh, he was at that time lured into a trap, which then led to his beheading, and he was put in a shallow grave. After that, uh, his body was discovered. Uh, he was arrested. Uh, Omar was arrested and sentenced by an anti-terrorist court to death. Uh, of course, after that, the case went on for several years. He was on death row along with other accomplices. However, last year, the, uh, the Sindh High Court decided to acquit him and the other accomplices as well. Uh, that then was challenged here in Pakistan's Supreme Court, but it was a huge case. This was a high-profile journalist. It sent shockwaves around the journalistic world as well, and to a degree also harmed relations uh, with Washington, because last year the American administration, the outgoing administration of Trump, had also voiced his displeasure uh, over the acquittal of this key uh, suspect. Many thanks for that. Kamal Haider there for us in Islamabad.